I fall on my belly. <laughs> my big belly. But you but, look trim, you look trim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is to like, just to warm up your most like just loose. Okay, loose. So Martin, I've seen you doing your boxing training. You put me through my paces. What do you do when you're not doing that? Um, I play football because football, it makes me feel good like running all around. What about school? I'm starting a new school this year. I mean, you're seven now. See, it's kind of funny now because I was in year two, I was the biggest. But when I was in year three, I was the smallest. Now I'm in year six, I was the biggest. Now I'm in year seven again, I'm the smallest. Oh, so you, are you nervous about starting your new school? Not really. Not really nervous, but I wrote this poem about how other people feel like starting a new school, starting a new home. What's it called? Different. Everywhere I go, everywhere I look, there was either someone laughing or even someone pointing at me. I feel alone, I feel ashamed. To even come to school, what shall I do? Go home or ignore it, just walk in. When I go into class, there is whispers everywhere. The main world I hear is different. But as I go home, there was people just laughing behind me, different, different, shouting and shouting. The tear shed from my eye, I just quickly wipe it as quick as a flash because I don't want anyone to see. I want to show them that I'm brave and I'm not scared. But it's not really about what you look, what you dress or how you even talk. It's about deep in here, deep inside, about your heart. Just follow your heart, just stand up for yourself. That's it, thank you. Oh, that's brilliant. This is the boxing club where Martin comes to train three times a week. Let's go and have a look. <laughs> Steve Newland is Martin's boxing coach. He's very good, he's talented, he's got a talent. He's a very lively lad, you've probably already noticed. Uh, lots of skill, lots of talent. So what's good about boxing? What does it teach a child? Discipline, confidence, respect, fitness and their health. They're channeling their aggression in here all the time. When they leave here, they don't want to go beating people up. They've done everything there. Learn to respect other people, what, what to hit and what not to hit. So Martin, if I want to be a boxer like you, what do I need to know? First tip you need is to always keep your hands up. If you don't have your hands up like me, bam, you're getting hit straight away and knocked out probably. Second one, work on your footwork. Like that, just move around a lot. Never lose balance, because if you lose balance, you get punched, you lose, you just fall into the floor, and that could be points for the other. Third one, always keep your head up so you know where you're throwing punches. And that's it. Come on, let's go into pads. Let's see how good you are now. Double jab cross. Remember, hands back, hands back. Three. That's it. OK, calm down on the football. Calm down. Just loosen yourself. It's like you're dancing now. Come on, man. <laughs> it's not a dance. It's boxing. OK, OK. Uppercut. Yeah, that's it. Cross. Easy now. You're hitting me. <laughs> Three now. Three. That's it. Always keep your hands up. Always keep them up. Keep them up. Never look down like that. Always go in. OK, hook, cross, hook. Hook, is that a hook? Hook, remember? OK, yeah. Hook, cross, hook. That's it. Do you know what? I'm absolutely shattered. I need a break. OK. I'm sweating like you wouldn't believe. So, Martin, why boxing? It helps me, like, when I'm angry sometimes at school, like, I just come here and take the anger out in the bags and all that. And it is also a good way to get you fit, fighting fit. Martin, I've loved meeting you today and I loved the boxing, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was rubbish, but hey. <laughs> and to say a big, big thank you to you for showing me round. Here's your Blue Peter badge. You Thanks. definitely deserve it. Thanks very much, Liz. You're yes. welcome. Hey, and good luck in the future. Same goes to you. <laughs> At the end of the day, I am who I am. Like, I'm a traveller and no one's going to, like, put me down, call me a gypsy or something, because I'm not. And I'm proud of who I am. What a guy. Good boxer and a great guy, yeah. He was brilliant. Now, we received a letter here from Kate, who sent us her idea uh, for two healthy banana snacks. Thank you very much, Kate. Banana is my favourite fruit. But anyway, <laughs> if you're still looking for inspiration...